The Texan, starring Rory Calhoun, is presented by Viceroy. Viceroy Cigarettes, a thinking man's filter, a smoking man's taste. Jed, that's all I'm saying. That's all we've been saying for the last five years. And I've got no stomach for it no more. I tell you, this town goes on being careful much more. There won't be nothing left to be careful for. I meant it friendly. I know how you meant it. You just take care of that mug, Will. I'll take care of myself. I can talk to you a minute, Jed. You've been doing so much talking lately. Reckon you know some folks don't like it. Yes. Jed turns. You try to draw on me, Sheriff. That's right, Coy. I was right here. Anybody here see it different? You see it, Will? Lave here said Torrance draw it on him. He couldn't draw. He didn't have a gun. Now that's funny. The boy said it was self-defense. I'd say it was murder. Their word against yours, two to one. Don't think I know you, mister. What's your name? Bill Longley. Got any business here in town? Just riding through. Might be you'd better keep on riding through and not stick your nose where it don't belong. How much are drinks? Two bits. You're a dollar short. I held it out for the box. It's unique, even for American politics. I'm, I'm afraid it's the least of our innovations. Shut him off. So many of our local concepts are unorthodox. Frankly, it, it would take several hours to describe all our political heresies. You think he's been talking too long? Too long and too loud. Maybe he's thirsty. Yeah. You better have a drink. Compliments to Sheriff Benner. Please convey my regrets to the sheriff. I didn't say nothing about regrets. I said have a drink. I'd rather not. You're making it hard on both of us. I almost wish you'd try. Dan, keep your hand off that gun. You too, Leif. Get up. It's election day. Wouldn't want any trouble, would we? You're a dollar short. I'd like to buy you a drink. I'd be honored, sir. And grateful.
two coffees, please. You said uh, a drink? Coffee's a drink. Yes, yeah, so the definition is legal and admissible. Too bad. What's your name, young man? Bill Longley. And where are you from? Oh, many places. Mostly Texas. If I had to guess, I'd say you were from the East. Winthrop Davis, Esquire of Boston. Late member of the faculty of Harvard College. Professor of legal jurisprudence with a thirst for knowledge. And a taste for whiskey. Ecce homo. That's the Latin for it. Ecce homo. Behold the man. Mr. Davis, I've been looking all over. You weren't in the saloon. Well, I apologize. I, I retain what you might call a limited practice. My clients, Mr. and Mrs. Carl and Mr. Longley. How do you do? When Fagan is Sanders at the bank, he says there's nothing he can do. Says his hands are tied. They're going to sell us out. It's a foreclosure sale. Sale? What kind of sale is that? There'll only be one bid. One bid? The sheriff's. He's going to take our land like he took all the others. For the price of the mortgage. Only there won't be anything left for us. But it's an open sale. Anyone can bid. Somebody tried it once. They found his body out in the brush. What the buzzards left. Ben is not going to get our land. I'm not going to stand by and watch. Don't talk like that. We've done it his way so far, and where'd we get? We counted on you. You were going to stop better. I tried. When? You didn't take time. You were too busy keeping drunk. Walt! So we stand to lose our place today. Everything we've got in the world. I should have known. I should have figured it. A man that's no use to himself can't be any use to anybody else. I'll handle Benner myself. Well, I'll take that shave now. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait a while. I was just fixing to go out and vote. Voting is at 12 sharp, and the sheriff likes us right on the dot. Does he give all the orders in this town? Uh, he, he wears the badge. Did you ever think of taking it off? Voting him out? You've seen what happened to Jed Torrance. You don't think the rest of us are going to stand up in front of Banner and say right out we ain't going to vote for him? What do you mean, say right out? Well, that's the way Banner likes it. We vote open. That's against the law. You don't say? Don't you have any choice? Oh, sure. There's always another candidate. Somebody who knows they ain't got a chance for the job. And wouldn't take it if they did have. Well, why does he run? Some... Benner has notions on it. Says two candidates makes it legal. Got the biggest joke of all this time. Benner put up the other man's name himself, personal. Who? Old Coot. Ain't been sober in years. Broken down lawyer, name of Davis. You want to wait here? No, I'll go with you. Twelve o'clock. All right, folks, it's 12 o'clock. Time to start voting. Step right up, say your vote. More here will tally it down. Who's going to be first? Come on, come on. There ain't no trick to voting. Let's get it over with, then I'll buy the drinks. You're a good man, Judge. Takes a good man to go first. Well, what do you say? 
How are you going to vote? I prefer to hold my vote confidential, sir. I propose to write my vote on a piece of paper and deposit it for safekeeping to be tallied with others under proper inspection. You uh, don't like our elections, huh? It's a matter of legality, sir. The secret ballot is guaranteed by law. Well, sure, we want to keep it legal. But then we'll have to keep it legal all the way. Now, the ordinance on voting says that no citizen can vote without $50 property, either real or personal. You got any property, Judge? Anything personal, say, worth uh, $50? I've got this. I wrote it some years ago. Well, what do you know? Wrote it yourself, huh? Hmm. Mighty small book to be worth $50. It's out of print now. Adventures at the bar. <laughs> you know something, Judge? The way you drink, you could have written twice as much. No. I'm sorry, I don't even think it's worth two bits. It's worth $50 to me. That's cash money, mister. It's not for sale. However, its value has been established. And with that, of course, my right to vote. We'll need some ballots. And a ballot box. Box is on the bar. Next. I've finished. Who's next? you got? Davis, 52 votes. Benner, three votes. And twelve dollars. Looks like you lost your badge. Yeah. I hope he lives to wear it. You want it legal. It's wrong. It's wrong to utilize the processes of the law to make a mockery of the law. This isn't just a piece of metal. It's a symbol of authority, of public confidence. What confidence can they have in me? That might depend on how much confidence you have in yourself. That was a real great thing you did today. I was a lawyer again. I had clients. I knew they'd be defrauded in that sale. I thought if I could get Benner out first. He's out. Yes, and I'm in. I ought to have thought of that. All my life I've been opposed to violence. And all my life I've lost. I saw the war coming. I fought against it. Does that sound odd, to fight against war? I've heard preachers speak of the armies of peace. You've made a start here. You could win. We did like you said. 
We just came from the bank. Mm -hmm. You talked to Sanders? Benner talked to him first. They're going through with the sale. Mm -hmm. They have the law with them. I'm not talking what's law. I'm talking what's right. I'm saying Benner's not going to crook us out. I'm going to see he doesn't. Wall. There's three of them. You won't be any good to her debt. You better stay within the law. Walt, please. We'd better not lose. All right, all right, it's three o'clock. Time for the sale to start. Or are you a little confused being on that side of the bar, Sheriff? To be sold at public auction, pursuant to court order, the property of Walter Carlin Morgature, consisting of some 1,500 acres, pasture and timber, with all livestock buildings and improvements thereon. The bidding will start at $3,000, which constitutes the amount of the encumbrance. All proceeds in excess of this amount will be reserved by law to the mortgager. Do I hear a bid? Yeah. I'll bid $3,000. Next bid, please. There's not going to be any more bids. Let's get it over with. Come on! There being no further bids, this property is sold to Coy Bennett. I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't. They were ready to kill. That whole crowd would have been with you. You were talking for them. Violent. Law. They wanted to prove that law is stronger than three men with guns. The law requires more than one bid. I knew that sale would be invalid. They knew it too. But they wanted to hear you say it. Benner just rode out to the Carlin place. Well, where'd you leave Walt? With his wife. Benner has no legal right. He'll have possession. Well, the circuit judge will be here next week, and I'll get an order to vacate. And someone can serve it. Someone? Ain't that your job? I won't be sheriff then. I tell you, I won't wear this badge. I was nominated only in cynical jest. I could still fight, perhaps, with, with words, with reasons, with ideas, but this, I have no talent for killing. You've done all right. Where's Walt? Where is he? Where he sent him. My dear young woman. Walt I... was right and I was wrong. I should have let him do it his own way. Here he might have had some help. Where is he? He saw Benner ride out. He's gone after him. But I was planning... The law specifically states... The law? What kind of law says I've got to wear black? There is no law in this town. Better deputize some men. Someone's got to go after Walt. Somebody will. Winthrop Davis. 
What do you want? Ain't no whiskey in here. I want you to leave. You're trespassing. On my own property? It isn't your property. That sale was illegal. Go ask the bank. It's all bought and paid for. You're the one's gonna leave. I'm gonna count to three. One, two. It didn't count to three. Pin down. Try and keep him busy. more ways to get yourself killed. We look for you. There's a back trail. No, ain't nobody gonna interfere. We're just trying to help. I don't want no help. I'm gonna do it my way. I got me a belly full of help. Ain't done nothing except help me lose my place. he'd never get my place. I never killed a man before. From time to time, the tree of liberty has to be fertilized with blood. Thomas Jefferson said that. And they were wrong. There is law in this town. There will be. Sheriff. I thought you were supposed to stay in bed. Young man, I know my capacities. Besides, in the absence of anyone properly qualified, I've agreed to say a few words at the uh, funeral. That's right. They're putting Benner and those other two away. Got a good text? Yes, indeed. From the Latin. De mortuis nil nisi bonum. Speak only good of the dead. Though, uh, in a strict sense, they're not dead. I intend to keep their memories alive. Very much alive. I understand you're leaving? Yes. I'm afraid so. I won't try to thank you. I speak four languages, and there's no way of saying what I what I feel in any of them. Goodbye. Come back again. I will. The Texan, starring Rory Calhoun, is presented by Viceroy. Viceroy Cigarettes, a thinking man's filter a smoking man's taste.